Good afternoon, this is Tracy, and I'm doing this quick video to show how to create a last name rectangular sign box for your home using the font in Silhouette Studio. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to Defont, um, and we're going to look for the welcome font. So something important that you should know about this particular font, it is a commercial use font but you can download it off a of default for free for personal use if you choose to use this font in a commercial setting please please go to the actual artist studio and purchase their font with commercial use and i don't believe it's that expensive so you're going to go to download and obviously I've already downloaded this already, but I'm gonna show you the steps on how to go through. I'm also using a Mac, which might slightly be different um, than Windows, but it should be similar. So as you can see, you're gonna find your zip file and you're gonna double click on it as you can see down here on a Mac, it's going to open the utility and uncompress the zip file. And what it should do is open you a folder that looks just like this. So when you double click on it, you'll notice that it's got your true type font. Let me see if I can cancel that. Uh, a little side note, oops. Um, if you ever open a font and it has both the TTF, which is true type fonts, or OTF, that is your open type fonts. The difference is true type fonts were created for Windows, whereas open type fonts were created specifically for the Apple and the Macs, the Mac computers. So if you ever have both, Mac users should download the open types and Windows should download the true types. You can use them as in this instance, um, the true type font. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna open up your install window. You're gonna click on install font. I'm not going to cause I downloaded it this morning. Then a side note, what you should do first in Silhouette, if you're using Silhouette Studio is install your fonts and then open Silhouette Studio. If you have Silhouette Studio open and you download and install a font, you will need to close Silhouette and reopen it. So if you ever notice in the very beginning, it'll say initializing. It's what it's currently doing is it is downloading all of your fonts. So the first thing that I actually want to do, which is opposite of what I had put in those types is we're going to type your word first and I'm going to make this really big then we're going to come over to our textile window and we're going to look for Our font so as you can tell we don't have our swooshes on the front or on the back so what we want to do and I know there is a way to show the the glyphs in silhouette sometimes these load and sometimes these do not so we're going to change this down to um, I think that's the welcome so you want to change your glyphs this is kind of hard for me to see on this version so what I like doing is actually going to the font book and this is for Mac users this is not an option in Windows this is how I prefer to use my glyphs and this is why silhouette takes so long to open sometimes because I have a lot of fonts 
So there's our W. So I like going Command C. I'm just going to minimize that. I'm going to come over here and double click on our word. And I'm going to remove the W and then Command V. There we're going to get our first swoosh. I'm going to go back to my font book. And then I'm going to find a wrong way. R E, Command C, and then we're going to double click over here on our word. We're going to delete our E and Command V. I'm going to get rid of my textile box. Right now we are 20 inches by 7 inches, and that's probably about the size that you're wanting for your sign. So then we're going to weld this together. Now what we're going to do is create our rectangular box. So I'm going to come over here and the first thing I'm going to do is make a box. Then I'm going to grab my top of my box and I'm going to shrink it down so where it's just over. So let me zoom in. A little too far. So we're just overlapping. So you could almost probably go about right there. So I'm going to do the same thing with my my bottom. We want to barely grab that bottom hook right there. We're going to come over and do the same thing with our left. So we're just over. And just over there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our let me center this up some. We're going to take our rectangular box and we're going to create our offset. So we want to do an offset. We want to make sure that we have our right angle corners. And because this is a 20 inch by 5 inches, let's make this. Typically we want to do the same size as the width of our letter. So Let's try a one inch and see what that looks like. That's too big. So let's try a 0.5. To me, that's too thick. So let's go, how about 375? Um, I don't like that, it's too thick. So we're just gonna keep playing with the sizes. Oops, you can see what I did, 0.275, I'm really liking that. So I'm going to click on apply, I'm going to get rid of my little offset box, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to weld them again. Actually I'll take that back. I'm going to take this back piece, copy and paste it. This is going to be my backer. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my first box, my second box. I'm going to make a compound path. Then I'm going to grab both of these and then weld them together. I'm going to add some color to that one, some color. So what this is going to look like
What in the world? And it put my backer in the front, so I'm gonna send that to the back. So that's what your final design is gonna look like. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna put this on the front, this is on the back, and it's cut to the same shape, shape, I'm sorry, same shape. So if you wanted to, you could have a two-piece design. Or if you wanted to do it So I'm going to remove the color so you can see both of these. So what this is, you want to make sure that your line colors are red. Um, I did notice. Get rid of this real quick. I'm going to grab both of these on the corner so we don't distort our font and we're going to go down to say 19 inches that way it fits on your board and this should fit on one sheet so you've got your backer you've got your front piece and if you don't want to and you just want just this piece, you can cut just this one and you don't have to cut this one. So make sure that your cut lines are red. There you go. Then make sure you've got business edition. Then you're going to come up here and go save as, save to hard drive. I'm just going to save this on the desktop. Oops gosh welcome change your format to SVG actually welcome sign and then click OK and then when you go to Glowforge this should fit in both pieces hope this helps